Hello friend, welcome to Huntel. This is your friend Saqib and in today's technical session we are going to study about the working of buck converter. So the buck converter is a converter which reduces the output voltage with increase in the output current. So buck converter is also known as a step down converter. So let us see the detail about the buck converter. So to friends to know more about the buck converter the first thing which we required is a voltage source. So you got here the voltage source and then we can name this as a V in then we required one switch and we'll name this as uh, S1 then in series we require one inductor where the inductor plays the very key role in the buck converter one diode which is parallel to input source that is v in the output of the inductor is connected to the capacitor so the capacitor over here give the smooth output the output of the capacitor is connected to the load and this is the basic circuit diagram to understand the buck converter let us uh, denote dv as a diode c as a capacitor rl as a load l as a inductor let us use a 10 volt battery as an example <coughs> so in the buck current the output voltage decreases with the increase in the output current so there are two operations of the buck converter when switch s1 is closed and another when the switch s1 is kept open now let at the first we assume that switch s1 is closed so in the first section we'll study when the switch s1 is closed so s1 is assumed to equals to be as a close so now you can see the switch S1 is closed. I have indicated with the red color and when it is closed, there is a flow of charge from S1 towards the load. So whatever the load voltage, voltage the current is getting is a very low charge and the current is getting through the inductor L and when the current is flowing through the inductor the magnetic field also goes on expanding in the inductor therefore the il the current which is flowing through the inductor also goes on increasing and the magnetic field also across the inductor goes on increasing now during this condition the diode is reverse bias so that's why and the polarity in the inductor is as shown in the figure above that is a plus and minus so when the polarity across the inductor is plus minus the diode d is reverse bias so the voltage across the inductor we can say it is vl is equals to v naught minus v in now as we have as m the given voltage is 10 volt and and the voltage across the inductor is 4 4 volt then the output voltage is going to be a 6 volt so this is how we come to know that so this is how we came to know that the input voltage is 10 and the dropout voltage at the inductor is vl and the output is 6 volt now let us see in the part second when the switch s1 is open now switch s1 is equals to open now in the diagram I have modified the switch S1 is open. Now what happened when the switch S1 is open when the flow of the charge from the battery to the inductor from inductor to RL is stopped. So automatically what happened the current which is flowing through the inductor will start uh, stop suddenly. What happens in this case so the magnetic field which is stored into the inductor will also goes on collapsing. So according to the Lenz law when the il is decreasing the magnetic field is decreasing the polarity across the inductor get reversed so now as you can say that previously it was plus minus now it will become minus plus 
okay so in this case you can see that the diode d1 becomes a forward bias because other end of the inductor is minus and now in this case the inductor becomes the current source for the output so whatever the current which was stored into the inductor in the form of magnetic field now it will start flow through the rl and the previously the voltage which is stored across the capacitor plus the voltage vl will start flowing through the rl in return again the diode is forward bias from the diode again the current is flow towards the inductor now let us see the calculation according to that so v naught so let us calculate the v naught and i naught now so we know for the buck converter that is the output v naught is given as v in into the duty cycle now what is the duty cycle over here so let us take one graph over here and assume this is on off of the switch on suppose assume this gets on for 2 millisecond and off for a uh, another 2 millisecond so if we calculate the duty cycle is equal to is equal to t on upon the total t now you can see here d is equal to t on upon total t so t on is 2 and the total t is 4 equals to 4.5 okay that is nothing but a duty cycle now let us put this into the above equation so v naught equals to v in is a 10 and a battery uh, d is equal to 0 0.5 therefore 10 into 0 0.5 now the output voltage is 5 volt this is how you can see that the output of the buck converter decreases now let us calculate for the current i naught now to calculate the current i naught let us assume the input current is a uh, 3 ampere now the i naught is given as p in that is a power equals to v into i so the voltage here the e strain hold and therefore the power equals to v into i that is 10 into 3 ampere equals to 30 watt now the output power uh, of a buck converter is given as p naught equals to p in into the efficiency therefore p in is 30 watt now assume that the efficiency of the circuit is 80 percent therefore 30 watt into 80 percent therefore p out is equal to 24 watt therefore therefore you can see that the input power is 30 watt and the output power is 24 watt now from this let us see how the current get increases now we know what is p out p out equals to output voltage into output current but we have calculated the p out p out is 24 watt equals to as we have calculated the v naught is equal to 5 volt uh, therefore the i l equals to 24 watt upon 5 therefore i l is equal to 4.8 ampere so in this example you can see that the input current i uh, was a 3 ampere but when we calculated the il this becomes 4.8 ampere therefore we come to the conclusion that vm was 10 volt and im was 3 ampere but after doing the calculation we observed that output voltage that is v naught is equals to 5 volt and the output current il is equals to 4 point il or i naught equals to 4.8 ampere so this is how the buck converter works so in the buck converter as i told you earlier that the output voltage will decrease with the increase in the output current always this all depends upon the duty, uh, duty cycle and this duty cycle depends upon the switching that's why this is called as a switch mode power supply also so if you want to increase and decrease the output you have to control the switch s1 and this switch uh, switch s1 can be used as any mosfet or any ic switching circuitry to control the output so in short the buck converter is a regulator which reduces the output voltage which increase in the output current so that's all all my dear friend uh, for the more technical session please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel